It's the 21st century. We just got Blender 3.0. We are preparing for metaverse and cryptocurrencies. Elon Musk is trying to send people on other planets. We can now get organs from animals. And with the new medical techniques, we can live longer and healthier than ever. Yet, we have several wars worldwide that are pulling us back and innocent people and children are dying for no reason. Therefore, I wanted to create this peace monument in Blender and show you the tutorial how you can create one and show support for the people worldwide that are facing wars. So let me show you how I did it. Hey guys and welcome to the Blender splash screen and now we are going to continue on with the modeling of the peace sign. We are going to go here on general and here we can see our default cube, default light, default camera, which we will select like every Blender user and we will delete it. Now I'm going to press one on my keyboard and open the end panel for me just to add the screencast keys. So here on the left inner corner, you can see the shortcuts that I will be using for this tutorial. Now what we need here is our reference images. So we are going to press shift A reference and let's go and find it. So here it is. Also set this image as a reference in the description box down below for you guys to use. Now that we are here, we are going to go under filters, select this selectable or this arrow, and we are going to disable selecting in the viewport. So you can see here that I cannot select it. Now we will go to object data properties for our image and set the depth to back. If the perspective mode is not on, please select it. It is going to be easier when you pan around the view if you want to pan around the view so it is easier for you to use perspective I use perspective all, uh, almost for every uh, every reference that I have so now that we have it here we will now go and add a circle I will add a circle and down here we have on the left inner corner add circle we have the properties for that circle and I'm going to set the vertices to 60 now that I did that, I'm going to rotate in Z axis, by, uh, in X axis by 90 degrees. So R, uh, R, X, 90 degrees and scale it out. Okay, once we have it here, we are going to go into the edit mode by clicking here, going to into edit mode or press tab. Now I'm going to extrude and scale inside and you can see now that we have a perfect circle. I'm going to also go to extreme mode by clicking here or just pressing Alt Z on your keyboard or Option Z if you're a Mac user. Then I will go here under the modifiers and add a subdivision surface modifier. I'm I'm going to increase the number of subdivisions to two. Now that we are here, we are going to go in X-ray mode, select the left side of the piece sign, delete it and add the mirror modifier. Once we added a mirror modifier, you can see that it is not connecting on the center. We will now move the mirror modifier on top of the subdivision and it will connect automatically. I'm going to scale this circle a little bit more and now we will allow clipping so if I move these vertices they are going to stay put together. Now that we have everything here we are now going to create this inner piece sign. So for this one I will add a couple of couple of loop cuts and I will move the move the vertices around so that I don't have any problems uh, by extruding extruding the peace sign so you can see that it is going to stay uh, it is going to stay rounded I'm just going to move a couple of vertices so that I don't um, uh, so that I don't get uh, so that I get this shape as I want so now I'm going to add one here I'm going to move the vertice from from top just to, uh, to not mess with the circle. Now I am going to extrude this in Z axis. So you can see how it looks like. I'm going to move this and add a loop cut right in the middle and move it down, uh, up. I'm going to move these, this, these three vertices on the X axis. So you can see that it is a little bit thinner than it was before. I'm going to extrude now these um, once. Let's grab it a little bit more. So I'm going to set it here. Now I will go and extrude from the bottom. The 
this one. Let's add one loop cut by pressing Ctrl R or uh, Command R if you're a Mac user. Then I'm going to simply move it a little bit so that it is like this. Also, we will add one loop cut, additional loop cut here as well. Now we are going to connect uh, the inside, the inner part. So I'm going to, we can uh, go here and merge these two together. And now we will have a pentagon here like this and just simply add loop cuts here and here so you can see now the the look of it so i will move a couple of vertices just for them to follow the shape and voila we have it here so now we are we are ready to delete the empty or the image so i'm going to select it and delete it now that I have a piece sign here, we are going to see if it is rounded. So I'm going to rotate, add a circle and rotate it. And you can see here that we have a rounded shape. Now that we checked it, we are going to select it, press A and extrude it in Y axis. You can also do this part with solidify modifier, but I think that it is easier for you to do it, to it, to do it like this. So now, we can add a bevel modifier but put it on top of the subdivision you can see how it looks right now and smooth it out okay let's add more segments to it so that it looks flatter you can see it on the side everything is just fine so guys we are done with the peace sign now we are going to focus on the monument so we are going to add a cylinder scale it down and grab it right here in the middle so I'm going to grab it here and scale it down also we can scale the sign in y-axis so I'm going to just put it in the center here and I'm going to move the cylinder I'm going to scale the cylinder up like so and shade smooth it. Now that we are done with that, we are going to add a cube, grab it down, scale it up a bit. Now we will be ready to go into the edit mode, select the bottom and scale it a little bit in the X axis. So here we will have it. Let's move it to the center here and now once we have it there we are going to select the top face and insert it inside now extrude it in z-axis and voila we will be now ready to add the bevel modifier we are going to increase the segments to three let's add one loop cut here on the bottom and on the top so it will look something like this and shift smooth once we did that, we will be ready now to add the backdrop and everything that goes with it, so the textures and everything. Once we finish modeling the monument, we will add the backdrop and we will be ready to add textures to the scene. For that, we will use BlenderKit add-on, which you can download from their website, BlenderKit.com. The link will be in the description box down below. I founded some wall textures for the backdrop, concrete texture for the sign and platform, and also I founded flower models to put into the scene. When I finished adding the textures, I hopped onto the lights and added three aerial lights. At the end, I positioned the camera and played with the final render settings. So that was it guys. At the end, I wanted just to say peace out. <laughs>